Welcome to morning prayer here at Beautiful Savior. As we pray through the book of Proverbs, going through and today listening to Proverbs chapter 3, hearing the wisdom of God and then praying through that wisdom and asking for insight in our lives. Let us take a moment of silence preparing our hearts for this time of prayer. We join together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, turn my ear to your voice. In the morning, turn my focus and heart towards you. My mouth is filled with your praise. And with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips. And my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be be to to the the Father, and and to to the the Son. And to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Rejoice in what God has done every morning. Rejoice in what he has done for you. Let us join together in our first song. Proverbs chapter 3. My son, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commands in your heart, for they will prolong your life many years and bring you peace and prosperity. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your paths straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to to your bones. Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all your crops. Then your barns will be filled to overflowing and your vats will brim over with new wine. My son, do not despise the Lord's discipline, and do not resent his rebuke, because the Lord disciplines those he loves, as a father, the son he delights in. Blessed are those who find wisdom, those who gain understanding, for she is more profitable than silver and yields better returns than gold. She is more precious than rubies. Nothing you desire can compare with her. Long life is in her right hand, and her left hand are riches and honor. Her ways are pleasant ways, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who take hold of her. Those who hold fast will be blessed. By wisdom, 
the Lord laid the earth's foundation. By understanding, he set the heavens in place. By his knowledge, the watery depths were divided, and the cloud let drop the dew. My son, do not let wisdom and understanding out of your sight. Preserve sound judgment and discretion. They will be life for you, an ornament to grace your neck. Then you will go on your way in safety, and your foot will not stumble. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Have no fear of sudden disaster or of the ruin that overtakes the wicked. For the Lord will be at your side and will keep your foot from being snared. Do not withhold good from those to whom it is due. When it is in your power to act, do not say to your neighbor, come back tomorrow and I'll give it to you when you already have it with you. Do not plot harm against your neighbor who lives trustfully near you. Do not accuse anyone for no reason when they have done you no harm. Do not envy the violent or choose any of their ways. For the Lord detests the preserve, but takes the upright into his confidence. The Lord's curse is on the house of the wicked, but he blesses the house of the righteous. He mocks proud mockers, but shows favor to the humble and oppressed. The wise inherit honor, but fools get only shame. Let us confess together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Jesus conquered the grave. Come in line and let 
the whole world see. We're singing for the glory of the risen King. Jesus, shine your light and let the whole world see. We're singing for the glory of the risen King. Let us join together, praying for wisdom, insight, guidance, and God's blessings on our day with the words that we heard from the book of Proverbs. Hear us, Lord, as we pray as your people, taught by your Son, our Lord. Our Father, Father, who who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy thy name. name. Thy kingdom kingdom come, come, thy thy will be done, done, on earth as as it is is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord God, we turn to you, seeking your wisdom. We pray, Lord, that as we hear your words, we wouldn't just hear them and let them slip by, but that we would bind them to ourselves, that these would become our identity as your people, that they would become our leads, our guides, and our life. We ask, Lord, that just as you told your people of old, that we would hear them, read them, mark them, and digest them, that this would become what we see as the nutrients of life. In Jesus' name, amen. We thank you, Father God, for all the things that you have given to us. For you know all things and that you say that we can trust you, that we are part of your family, that even though you know us inside and out, you have made us a part of your family. And that even with all of your understanding and with all of our understanding, you have bound us to you. We pray, Lord, that you would continue to be with us, to lead us, and to guide us. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we pray that you would help us to acknowledge you in all of our ways, that not just with what we say, but in all that we do, that we would continue to point to you, that our paths, our lives, and all that we say and do would be directed to you. We thank you, Lord that you are the one that continues to lead us and direct us in all of our decisions. We pray, Lord, that you would continue to give us wisdom, that you would plant our feet on the straight path, that you would give us your wisdom in times of difficulties, that we would have eyes to see you first before we jump to our fears, our worries, but that we would continue to acknowledge you. Help us, Lord, in all circumstances to see you first, to have eyes that are fixed and hearts that are fixed firmly on Jesus. To him is due all glory, all praise, and all honor. It's in his name we pray. Amen. Lord, help us to be willing to see the needs of others before ourselves. Help us, Lord, to go and help others, not when it's convenient to us, but just as you did what wasn't convenient when you sent your son to pay the price for us. Help us, Lord, to be your people, to be willing to go and help others, not just by saying that we will eventually get to it, but by going out and being your hands and feet as you call us to be. Help us, Lord, to neither go and look through and find someone else to do it, but to hear that call, to be there, to be your holiness. 
Give us understanding and hearts that are not hardened or are growing cold, but that are enlivened with your passion. Lord, we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we pray for health, not just for today, but health that goes for all eternity. We pray, Lord, that you would continue to give us health in all that we say and do for the needs of the body of today and for the needs for our future. We pray, Lord, for those who are going through difficult times. We pray, Lord, for those whose health is failing. We pray, Lord, for those that are in need of your touch of life because you are the one who brings life, brings nourishment, and brings joy. We pray, Lord, that you would strengthen those that are on our hearts and our minds, those that are in need of the knowledge of your presence, because all life comes from you. Hear us as we lift up those prayer requests for those that are in need of your healing hand. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we hear in Proverbs 3 that those that you love, you correct. As much as we don't like to be corrected, Lord, give us hearts that are willing to be corrected by you because you are the one that comes true knowledge. You come true joy, and you are the one that corrects us when we were wrong. We hear throughout your word how far we had gone astray. Help us, Lord, to be willing to be corrected, to become your people, to enter into your joy and the lessons that we learn, to be willing to hear them, to learn from them, and to be corrected to walk in your light instead of our own wisdom. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And all of these things, Lord, as we start off our day, we turn to you as the one who gives us wisdom, the one who is there for us, the one who is there when we lie down and when we are awake. Hear us, Lord, as we start off our day, joining together with Luther's morning prayer. I thank, thank you, you, my, my heavenly, heavenly Father, Father, through Jesus Christ, Christ your dear Son, son that, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And, and I, pray I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and, and every evil, and that, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Rejoice in the wisdom of God. Rejoice in his corrections as he continues to lead you to life in him. Go forth in his peace and blessings. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.